Hi, uh, in this video we'll solve the following problem. Suppose uh, there is a random variable uh, whose probability mass function is given as follows. So x, it takes uh, let's say uh, 5 values and the probability with which it takes value minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 is equal to 1 by 5. Okay, so this is the probability mass function of, of x. Now we want to uh, figure out what is the PMF of the following random variables. So we want to figure out PMF of first absolute value of x. This is a random variable, which is just transformation of x. We want to figure out the PMF of x square, and we also want to figure out the PMF of max of x comma zero. Okay, so let's let's just do that. So how do we do this? Well, um, let's do the first one first. Um, so what is the PMF of absolute value of x? So notice that since x takes these five values, minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two, absolute value of x takes either value zero, one, or two, okay? So, uh, so when x takes value minus one, uh, absolute value of x takes value one, when x takes value minus two, absolute value of x takes value two, and so on and so forth, okay? So all that we need to do is, we just need to first figure out what are the values that absolute value of x takes, in this case, it takes three values, 0, 1, and 2. So what is the probability that the absolute value of x is 0? Well, that's 1 by 5 because that's going to happen when x takes value uh, 0. And what is the probability that the absolute value of x takes value 1? Well, that's going to happen when either x takes value minus 1 or 1 which is going to happen with probability 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5, so which is 2 by 5. And then probability that absolute value of x takes value 2 is likewise 2 by 5. Uh, we can similarly do the x square, so you can just verify that this is what you're going to get. x square takes three values in this case, 0, 1, and 4, and the probabilities are So I leave it as an exercise, you just try and figure out why you want to get this. And let's do this one, max x comma zero. So this is actually x when x is greater than zero and it is zero if x is less than zero. So in this case, it only takes three values again, zero, one, and two, and the probability with which it takes value zero is now gonna be, uh, so when is this gonna take value zero? Well, this is gonna take value zero when x takes value either minus two, minus one, or zero, because whenever it is minus two, it is zero, or minus one, it is zero, or if it is zero, then also it is zero. So so we just have to write three by five here because probability with which x takes value minus two or minus one or zero is one by five each. So if you just sum them up, you're gonna get three by five and then probability that max x comma zero takes value one is one by five uh, because whenever x is more than zero, which in this case is one, uh, whenever x is 1, uh, then max x comma 0 is 1. So, and then finally, uh, p max x comma 0, 2 is also 1 by 5. Thank you.